I'm going to share my story. And when I share my story, I hope you guys understand that I'm not trying to impress anyone with anything that I share. What I'm trying to do is impress upon you guys how powerful Avid really is. And I want to impress upon you guys how powerful relationships are, because relationships in education change lives. This has been the best year of my educational career. And with my luck, as you saw in Ellen, this has also been the worst year of my educational career. And I'll, and I'll explain why today. See, I recently realized that this is also the best year of my personal life. I proposed to my high school sweetheart, and she said yes, by the way. Shout out, Candice. I love you, baby, and I'll see you soon. I had to, you guys, I'm sorry. So in my fifth year of being an educator, I was blessed to be named Teacher of the Year for my campus, which is located in the West Texas city of El Paso. El Paso, where are you at? Yes! <laughs> and I did teach at the same middle school that I attended. And the kids I teach grew up, they, they're growing up in the same neighborhood and in the same government housing projects that I once lived in. So I have the opportunity to show kids from my neighborhood that if I, someone who looks like them, walks like them, and talks like them, if I can make and accomplish my educational goals, so can they. As a matter of fact, they can do it better. So there I was, teaching, teaching with passion and energy, and showing up every day to work to make a lasting impact on my students. And in doing so, and staying true to what I believe in, and staying true to the avid, avid philosophy, and building these relationships, and because I had the best students, I was named Teacher of the Year for my entire school district. The thing is, I'm no better than anyone else at my campus or my school district. I simply have a passion for inspiring kids to never limit themselves. So there we were, my students and I enjoying everything that came with being named Teacher of the Year for, for our school district. And then my world came crashing down. Principal calls me to the office, new principal, don't know him much. And yes, I'm a grown man, but when the principal calls you to the office without an indication as to why he's calling you, you start to get scared. <laughs> so as I'm walking to the office, I start asking myself, did I submit grades on time? Did I take attendance this morning? Did I call those parents back? And I wish it was one of those reasons. But instead, it was something else. The principal says, Mr. R, please have a seat. And there's no easy way to tell you this, but here's a letter from Central Office. I want you to read it and understand that these type of things happen in education every day. And this is the, ex the exact letter, by the way, and I keep it with me at all times to remind myself to always stay humble, never be complacent, and never think I know it all. And to summarize what the letter basically says, it states, Mr. R, thank you for all you've done with the AVID program in our district. However, we highly encourage you to attend the teacher job fair next week because your position has been cut. AVID is no longer being funded by our district. You've been displaced. Attending a teacher job fair as the reigning teacher of the year was the most humbling experience I've ever had as a teacher. And to be real with you guys, it was heartbreaking. See, I was heartbroken for myself. I was heartbroken for my students who love AVID. I was heartbroken for my students who confess that sometimes the only reason they go to school is because of AVID. I was heartbroken for my kids who told me, I'm sorry, I was heartbroken for my kids who broke down when I broke to the news to them that we would no longer have AVID. I was crushed. I was confused. I didn't know what to do. I wanted to cry. Okay, I did cry. <laughs> And you see, when a grown man cries, the first thing we do is we call our mama. <laughs> and I called my mom, I said, Mom, I can't believe they did this. I'm done, I'm ready to quit, I'm gonna throw in the towel. And my mom didn't react the way I thought she was going to react. <laughs> she scolded me, she yelled at me, she said, don't you dare quit. You get back to that school and you, re you remember your why. You remember why you got into education. Those kids need you. My mom's sitting up here, by the way. Love you, Mom. So 
So that's exactly what I did. I remembered my why, and I remembered that I still had a month I still had a month and a half left of school to make a lasting impact on these young minds. I still had a month and a half left of school to teach my kids how to overcome adversity, not by what I say, but by what I do. So that's exactly what I did. I wiped my tears, I spoke life to my kids, and I ensured them that they would be just fine without me because AVID has provided them with several skills that they can use for the rest of their life in any capacity. And I made a decision to finish out the year with the same fire and the same passion that I brought at, in August, I would teach that way in May up until the last day, our relational capacity was strengthened. And because I stayed true to AVID, and because I stayed true to my students, I was blessed with the best moment of my teaching career. See, I have a set of twins, and in El Paso, we are predominantly Hispanic, so we don't call our twins twins. If they're males, we call them cuates, and if they're females, we call them cuatas. So my pair of cuatas approached me during lunchtime, and they're nervous but they have this smile on their face that can, light up the bright, that can light up the darkest room. And the look on their face tells me something's not right, but they're smiling. <laughs> Welcome to middle school. <laughs> so Quata number one approaches me, and she says, yes, Quata one and Quata two. <laughs> and both are, they're right, okay. So Quata number one approaches me and she says, Mr. R, we have a very, we need to ask you a question. She can't finish. At this point, I'm thinking, what in the world are these girls going to ask me? I was just glad that my college tutors were in the room because it was, it scared me a little bit. <laughs> Guata two steps up and she says, Mr. R, we do have a question to ask you. As you know, our father figure, our father is not in our lives. And our quinceanera is coming up next year. And we wanted to know if you would step in as our father for our quinceanera. Because for the past three years, Mr. R, you have been our father figure. At that moment, I did what any strong, masculine, Hispanic male would do. <laughs> I looked them dead in the eye, and I started to cry, y'all. <laughs> See, the reason that I started to cry, <laughs> the reason that I started to cry is because I remembered my sister. She went to her quinceanera and my father didn't show up. And I was glad that these kids didn't have to experience that same pain. And I realized on that day that to these kids, I was more than just their teacher. At that moment, I realized what it truly means to be limitless. AVID empowers us with so many different strategies to work on relational capacity to be limitless for our kids. And in doing so, I told them yes. They called their mom. The mom said, well, he's going to have to pay for the DJ or something. <laughs> <laughs> Teachers, administrators, school security, office staff and lunch staff, never underestimate the impact you make on kids by simply being nice to them and showing them that you care. And you show them that you care by building caring relationships with them. And sometimes to show kids that you care and build these relationships, you're gonna have to learn about their culture. You're gonna have to learn about their families. You're gonna have to learn about their struggles. You're gonna have to share your struggles and your issues with them as well. And yes, sometimes when you're building relationships, you learn their, that their favorite song at the moment is the current song that's trending at the moment. So for eight periods a day, yes, I took my horse to the Old Town Road and I rode till I can't no more. <laughs> because my kids deserved it. <laughs> it's still in my head, I know. And sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, in order to reach these kids, you're gonna have to go down to their level and you're gonna have to reach them where they're at. And you're gonna have to be vulnerable and you're gonna have to humble yourself to learn from your students. Take what they teach you, apply it, learn and grow from that experience because your kids deserve it. And they might save your life in return. Thank you. Remember that relationships are important. Your influence is limitless. 
Your impact is limitless. Avid is limitless. You are limitless. We are more than just teachers. We are father and mother figures. We are big brothers and big sisters. We are counters. We are storytellers and actors. We are the best high fivers and the best side huggers. We are limitless. <laughs> Your students are so much more than a test score. Your students are future doctors, lawyers, politicians and painters, future professional YouTubers and Fortniters. It's a thing. Your students are future Marines, sailors, and soldiers and so much more. Your students are limitless. And as a matter of fact, my first year teaching, I met one of the smartest, one of the smartest students I ever met. His name is Jake. He's an adult now. He joined the Navy. And he's stationed right here in San Diego. And he became a sailor. Jake, where you at? There he is. You see, Jake showed up to see his old teacher speak because we built a strong relationship. Jake, I am proud of you. Thank you for serving our country. Continue doing amazing things. I love you, bud. <laughs> Avid fam, I, I, I want to stress the importance of relationships because yes, it's important to know what you teach, but it's just as important to know who you teach and how to reach them. And there are several different trainings out there, and Avid has provided several strategies for you to use and how to, to reach your kids. That's a whole other training. We'll do that another time. But please reach your kids, because when you stay true to what, to what you do, when you stay true to your students, and you stay true to what Avid has taught you, great things happen. Great things like changing lives, great things like saving lives. On several occasions, I've had kids confess to me that they used to hurt themselves because of mental health issues. They had so many problems going on at home that led to mental health issues like depression and suicidal thoughts. And some of them, ladies and gentlemen, have even confessed that they used to cut themselves. And when they ran out of room on their arms, they would cut their thighs. And when they ran out of room on their thighs, they would cut their legs. They felt helpless. They felt alone. But these same students confessed that once they joined AVID, they finally felt like they belonged. They finally felt like they were valued. They finally felt like they were a part of something because they were. They were a part of the avid family that Mr. R created at our middle school. And sometimes great things means being noticed by Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> and the best part about the Ellen experience was having a watch party with my students back in El Paso and seeing their faces light up with joy because they know the reason that I made it to Ellen was because of them. And the $100,000 cash prize was nice too. Thanks, Ellen. <laughs> avid educators, please understand that you are not alone on this journey. I know there's a lot of brand new avid teachers here. You are not alone. In order to truly be limitless, you need to network with other like-minded educators. And Avid has provided us with a wonderful opportunity on Facebook. Join the Avid Educator Group on Facebook. We learn from each other on this group. We help each other. We empower each other. We vent on there. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we empower each other to truly be limitless. I want to wish everyone in here a phenomenal school year. And I hope that everyone goes back and understands the importance of building relationships, the importance of being kind and respectful to your students, even when you're not having a great day. I hope that you reach them before you teach them. Be limitless. Thank you.